So let's take a look at the strum patterns for how he loves. Now remember, it's in 6-8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So we're going to have that 6-8 rhythm pattern. So basically, it's really the same throughout the whole song, so we don't have to spend a lot of time learning this. But you want to notice there's a couple builds in our arrangement. So why don't you take some time, focus on what the drummer is doing as you listen through the track, see where he's building. Now when you play it live, you want to follow your drummer. You know, if he's going to be building the song, you need to build with him. And all of the build means inside of the strum pattern is just downstrokes. We go from the strum pattern we're going to learn in a second to downstrokes. So we'll get there as we get through the song. So the main strum pattern is... So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it just follows that pattern. So down, up, down. Try that real slow, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you notice down, up, down, up, down. There's some variations in there, and that's okay. If you want to do a little variation here and there, but you want to make sure you lock down that main pattern of down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. going to carry you through the intros, the um, the verses, the choruses, obviously through the whole song. Now, when it's so similar everywhere across this, the song, just focus on your dynamic. You know, you've got so much uh, ability to change the dynamic of how hard you attack is what we would say, the strings. So if you're starting the intro, give it a little extra. Once you get into the verse, drop back. Don't attack the strings so hard in that strum pattern. You know, when as you're building, you know, bring more bring more to your attack right so let's focus on a couple of those builds so out of that strum pattern that down 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 the first time you see it in the song is in the second verse so you can hear in our arrangement the drum builds out and you can build with him so let's just try that let's try halfway through the first verse so where heaven meets earth so one two three four five where in the down down into that chorus. Now how we've done it is the drummer is basically the only thing you hear after that. So the rest of the band members uh, cut out and you just hear the vocals. All the vocals come out. Um, you don't have to do it that way but if your band is doing that way go ahead and cut out with that last chord and then the next build comes at the end of that chorus. So right at the very end there's that last chorus so you're totally cut out and it starts on uh, how he loves us so at the very end. How he loves us so. with the play along you can see how those builds happen in real time so uh, another thing I want to add is that when you do your builds don't always start when the drummer's starting so if he starts to step up and go into a build uh, you don't always have to start that sometimes it's necessary like at the end of the second verse but other times you want to if it's a longer build you want to wait a little bit and add another layer so he starts to build and then you come in with the build and then maybe the bass comes in with you at the same time that way you get more of a layered effect to your builds and it's not just we started the build and now we're ending um, you get that great layered effect so try that out next time you leave